Hi, it's uh, Stu from Project Marley. Um, I'm doing a video uh, a bit quicker than I was expecting. Um, haven't done anything on the truck, I've not even been out to the truck today. But last night while I was uploading yesterday's video, I uh, had a phone call with a gentleman um, who I've managed to get in touch with uh, through, through his son on, on Facebook, which is brilliant. Um, who in fact used to work for Boutons. Um, as well as uh, working with Boughton, he is the gentleman who designed the chassis and the running gear uh, for my truck. And he's told me uh, a few different things about it. He's given me a bit of the back history of the companies that were involved. And um, he's told me a bit more about the uh, components on my vehicle. So uh, before I forget, and I get beyond the point of being able to read what my notes are that I've made, uh, I thought I'd make a video um, mostly to, to remind myself in the future, um, but also because hopefully somebody will find it interesting. So, this gentleman started working for Boutons in around about 1969, uh, and he was involved in designing the Griffin chassis. And Boutons built various chassis to sell to other people and I think they might have built some vehicles on them themselves and um, these engines were rear en these engines these chassis were rear engined um, and all wheel drive some six uh, wheel some four wheel and they they had a, a front driving position most of them were a central driving position so we fast forward on um, one of the companies that used to use these chassis quite a lot was a company called Chubb now Chubb is a name that, in the UK at least, we know very well for fire protection. They build fire, they make fire alarms, um, they make locks, I believe it's the same company anyway. Um, but they make fire extinguishers and, and they do a lot of fire protection. They used to make fire engines, or at least they used to make airfield fire engines, uh, I know for certain. And the protector was one I'm familiar with. Uh, it's quite an angular design. It was built in, up into the mid mid 80s uh, and this was built on a Boughton chassis and what I hadn't realised was that when Chubb left the fire market uh, or, or fire engine market um, a couple of gentlemen founded a company uh, called Fire Trucks to continue on with uh, basically the, the, the leftover Chubb design and, um, and possibly use some of their parts and things but it was basically a continuation of, of the Chubb Protector but under a different name which I believe in Firetruck's case they renamed it and it's what became the Barracuda. The Barracuda was a very long running um, model. So Firetrucks were based in Mitchell Dean and the Forest of Dean. Um, they were buying chassis from Palton, they were assembling um, the Firetrucks themselves. However, the bodywork was being done by Northern Counties, which is a coachworks firm, or was a coachworks firm, I believe up in the Midlands. Um, they got bought out, went bust, the usual things with British companies. Um, eventually became part of the Dennis Group, the Dennis Group became part of the uh, Plaxton Group, and I, to be honest, I don't really know what ever happened to that group, but they, they're defunct now, unfortunately. Fire trucks started to develop um, more modern appliances uh, in the late 80s. They were changing the, bar uh, the Barracuda from being a very square, angular vehicle into a more rounded, more modern looking vehicle. And at the same time, they were developing the Marlin. Um, Marlin, in my opinion, from, from the little I know, appears to be just a beefed up Barracuda. It's wider, it's got a bigger engine, it's got more water capacity, probably got a bigger pump um, so they were working on that the Marlin uh, my Marlin was built by them uh, in 1989 and it was registered the 1st of January in 1990 uh, when it went off to to Manchester um, whether it was on trials or if it was uh, actually purchased directly I don't know um, fire trucks got into trouble uh, financially, uh, it ended up with them being acquired by Boughton. Well, I don't know the details about it. I don't know if they went bust and they were bought from the receivers or they decided to sell up because they were struggling. 
but Balsam bought them and started producing uh, the Barracuda and the Marlin under the, the Balton, Ren uh, Reynolds Balton uh, name. So they did a slight redesign on the Marlin. Um, I know this because the first one that they I know of that they built, which is J1, uh, I think it's C, CFR, I think it is, uh, also went to Manchester. Uh, I've seen video of it. And th little things like the, the engine cowling is slightly different. So when you slow the engine cowling back, it uncovers all of the, the air filters and everything. Whereas on mine, it uncovers the engine but nothing else, and then you've got to take up deck plates. Um, they built that one. They built a V16 that went out to um, Hong Kong. And I believe they built a couple or a number of, of modified Marlins that went to Singapore. Um, uh, these modified Marlins actually ran two engines. They had a smaller engine to drive it, and then they had a V6 Detroit diesel behind the cab that actually ran the fire pump on a completely separate system. So that's what I found out about about the history of the Marlins. Um, it doesn't really surprise me um, that Bowton chose to buy fire trucks because, from looking at mine, for something that was built in the late eighties, it is an immensely advanced piece of equipment. I mean it's not it wouldn't stand up to modern modern computerized stuff these days. But for the for the late eighties it is it is a seriously advanced piece of kit. Um, the control systems on it are not basic and nothing's basic on it. It is it's quite quite sophisticated uh, for its age. And it also looks like a modern truck. It doesn't look a huge amount different to some of the modern trucks you see being produced now with the beautiful curved windscreen on them. Uh, the only thing is I've got square headlights, they've got fancy round ones and they've got LED lights. It is a very good looking, modern looking truck for its age. Um, aside from going off on that slight tangent, I also uh, learned uh, a bit more about the, uh, the, the truck. So um, I do have a, a, a rank transmission. Uh, when I looked under yesterday, it is massive. I've never seen a gearbox like it. Um, not in a vehicle, not in a road, what you consider to be a road go vehicle. Um, I've seen massive earth movers with bigger gearboxes and with big haul trucks for quarries and things. But for something that's essentially a uh, heavy duty truck, it is, it's huge, this, this gearbox. Um, I found out the make of the axles. The axles are Kessler axles, which are German, very good axles. Uh, hopefully I won't need any parts for them, but at least I know who made them now, so I can, if I do have problems, I've got a better chance of tracking things down. Uh, we spotted the good eye for pump uh, yesterday. Uh, the guy over pump is probably around about uh, seven and a half liter a minute, uh, seven and a half, seven and a half thousand liters a minute, um, and I've also learned that the tank is is most likely a fourteen thousand liter um, tank. So we've got about two minutes of water if if we were pumping at full flow. Uh, hopefully uh, in the summer we will have fixed things enough that we can actually go out and try that, uh, assuming that the the landlord of where it's being kept will allow me to go and flood one of his fields. And Commodore's host pipe, but we'll, we'll, that, we'll come to that. Um, I don't know that there's much else to tell you. Um, it's been really good uh, to find these things out. Uh, another thing I have seen is I've seen a video uh, recently on YouTube where there were some early barracudas, the square shaped ones, um, being looked at at Manchester Airport, and also there were some chassis being driven about on trials without any firefighting equipment or any bodywork fitted, so that's quite a fun video, I thought. Uh, so I'll put a link at the end uh, so you can have a look at that if you'd like. Once again, if you enjoyed the video, please like uh, the video. Um, if you want to hear more, again, please subscribe. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see you uh, shortly with some, some uh, more things to do with it. Uh, Toodle pip.